Message from Mother Mary, February 2nd, 1976, on the Feast of the Presentation of the Child Jesus, number 91 in the Blue Book, A Sign of Contradiction. Do not be troubled, my sons, if you do not understand by some, and if on the contrary you are openly criticized and persecuted. My heart permits this to accustom you not to rely on any creature, but on me alone. Beloved sons, lean on my immaculate heart alone. Let yourselves be carried just as the baby Jesus let himself be carried in my arms to the house of the Father. He presented himself in the temple to be offered to the Lord on this mother's heart of mine. At that moment when I entrusted him into the hands of the priest, the old prophet Simeon revealed that the mother had been chosen by God for this offering. He is destined to be a sign of contradiction and a sword. O mother, will pierce your soul. Luke 2, 34 through 35. You also, my little children, consecrated to my immaculate heart, you will be called today to be this sign of contradiction. By your life, which will be purely and simply a living gospel, today the gospel of my son, Jesus, is believed in less and less. And even in the church, there are some who tend to interpret it in a human and symbolic manner. You will live out the gospel to the letter. You will be the poor, simple, pure, little, and totally given over to the Father. By your word, which will repeat ever more loudly and clearly the truth which my son Jesus has come to reveal to you, do you see how many of your brother priests portray this truth? An attempt to adapt into the mentality of the world, impelled by a false illusion of being better understood, listened to by more people and more easily followed? No illusion is more dangerous than this. Always announce the gospel that you live with fidelity and clarity. Your speech must be, yes, yes, or no, no. Matthew 5.37 Everything else comes from the evil one. Therefore, let yourselves be guided and led with a docility by the church. See how the Pope is announcing the truth with power and how his voice falls more and more on barren soul. My motherly heart is again pierced by a sword as I see how the Holy Father this first of my beloved sons is abandoned even by his brother priests and left more and more alone. You, O priests, consecrated to my immaculate heart, must be the voice which spreads throughout the whole world whatever the vicar of my son announces again today with firmness for the salvation of my poor misguided children. By your witness, which must be a light and example for all the church, it has been ordained by the Father that yours be a witness which will become more and more painful. I repeat, my sons, the road upon which I am leading you is that of the cross. Do not fear if you become increasingly the target of misunderstandings, criticisms, and persecutions. It is necessary that this happen to you because, as was my son Jesus, so also are you being called today to be a sign of contradiction. The more you are followed, the more you will be rejected and persecuted. When they attack your person or my movement, answer with prayer, with silence, and with forgiveness. You will soon be called upon to struggle openly when my son Jesus, myself, the church, and the gospel are attacked. Then only, led by me, by the hand, should you come out in the open to at last give your public witness. For now, continue to live with simplicity by entrusting yourselves, each and all, to the care of my motherly heart.